Hey everyone, it's Jen here again. And if a uh, dog or cat walks into view, just know that uh, they would subscribe to my channel if they could. Uh, but instead of that, they just give me a lot of really great emotional support. Uh, I started this channel uh, five minutes ago. And uh, so please uh, bear with me as I navigate building the channel and producing videos. Um, what I know about producing videos is, is relatively uh, low at this point, but we'll get there. Um, anyway, I'm not one for super long intros. I will just say that um, I have BPD and this channel is for anyone who is struggling with BPD, wants to know about BPD, has a, um, a quest for getting better, for knowledge yes thank you my dear um who um wants to have more of a supportive community from someone that produces these videos that has the disorder or the disorder's traits rather than a doctor or a life coach um, there's tons of information out there i will say that videos in a channel that i find super helpful for myself from a provider is dr daniel fox you can google him um, he's a licensed psychologist in Texas. His videos have been super helpful to me and they're always very non-judgmental, which I think um, we could all use a lot of that. So last night I had a friendship blow up. Um, one of my core content issues is that I always fear this sense of not having en enough friends or any friends or being alone and that somehow that means that I am defective. Now, to be fair, there have definitely been times in my past where I have imploded relationships out of quickness to anger or not thinking through a situation or not being mindful of someone else's feelings. And the more that I, I, I read about this, I, you know, I would love to have a barrage of, of really close friends you know, at a time I was married, at a time I was drinking, I'm not now, I'm about, I don't know, 10, 12 years sober now, maybe a little bit longer than that. <clears throat> and um, I had tons of friends, you know, lots of friends who wanted to come over, drink my alcohol. Uh, I had a lot of parties. Um, it was always a full house. And then I got divorced. So I lost a little bit of friends in that process. And then I got sober and I lost a little bit more friends in that process. I think that looking back, those were maybe not the closest people in my life. Those were people that were acquaintances or who wanted to have a good time. But for me at that point, it was definitely a time that I felt more relevant, more successful because I had, you know, for my marker, my success Everyone has a marker of success, right? And some people that's money or family or a career accomplishment. For me, it's been always about friends and, and my, my intimate circle. I find um, now to be more lonely um, and that I don't have very many friends. And I think there's a few reasons for that. Before I get into that, my theories, um, part of which I think is about the choices I make, and then part is maybe how I handle some of these relationships. I had an ex-boyfriend say to me, you know, Jen, don't forget the human factor in all of this. It's easy to have a diagnosis or traits or something and chalk everything up in your life to that diagnosis. Oh, you know, I don't have friends. It must be the BPD. Oh, I didn't get that job. They must know that I have problems with emotional dysregulation. Oh, you know, this person canceled on me. It means I'm worthless and I'll be alone forever, right? But you know, do do a Google search. You know, Google something like how many friends people have. Do people feel more lonely with social media? Do people feel together? And you know, you'll find there's a lot of strength in knowing that a lot of people deal with being alone and a lot of people don't feel like they have a huge network a lot of people are estranged from their family I am I live in an area where I don't have family I'm an only child and um I'm estranged for them for 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 good reasons not petty reasons but I'm estranged from them and so you know for me 
I've, I've, I've felt like I've lived this transient life. You know, once I decided to really address my issues uh, at about 20, 25 years old and really immersed myself in several rounds of DBT and, and therapists and books and you name it, you know, I, I, I could probably, uh, I could probably have a associates now in, in this disorder. Back to friendships. So what is it about having BPD that makes friendships so difficult? You know, I, there's a lot of misinformation out there that BPDs are, are narcissistic. They're not. That's a totally different personality disorder. So let's get clear on that. I don't find myself to be narcissistic. If anything, I find myself to be more codependent, more giving, more open, wanting to do anything for anyone at my own detriment. Um, I think borderlines are very warm people and outgoing and fun and dynamic and, and they're the life of the party perhaps. But they also, in my opinion, in my own experience,